can you think of any wrestling match or comic book that has God in it? I can think of one wrestling match, and that was HBK in the WWE, (laughs) which was hilarious, by the way. But anyways, if you don't know what it is, I'm about to tell you what it is. Welcome to Reviews from the Six. My name is Cedric, but you can call me Seti Said. And today we are reviewing Do a Power Bomb. And of course, the first thing that grabs you is the art, right? Or the cover art, I should say. So I really, when I saw it, I said I had to get this. Not only am I a big WWE fan, WWF, AEW, IWGP, which is the inspiration of the cover art here in the character. I just had to get my hands on it, man, and had to read it. Even if I didn't like it, I was going to have it in the collection. And as you can see, like, the font of it, like, it's just so cool, y'all. You know, and then, of course, you have the back here which I thought was dope. It's like a TLC match, you know, and you can kind of see a couple of, uh, of the opponents there, which I really, really like. You see Necron here, um, Cobra Son, that's uh, uh, Steel Rose right there, and then you see all the others here. And then, of course, we'll go ahead and get into the art, which I really, really dug, by the way. So just to let you guys know, I believe this was written, created, and illustrated by Daniel Johnson. You see there? But yeah, let me go ahead and show you. So the first page is pretty much telling you how he got the inspiration of the comic, which he watched that match. He was hanging out with his daughter and the match came on. He couldn't really sleep. So uh, when he saw the uh, G1 climax and that that moonsault or the the uh, body cross from the Raptors or Raptors. Yeah, I could see why he got hooked on that. Um, Now, the cover art, like I said, is really, really good. Um, This issue comes or this graphic novel comes with about seven issues in it, as you can see here. But I really, really enjoyed the art, man. I really did. Like it wasn't simplistic, but it was like simple enough for me to look at and be like, okay, I can tell that's his muscles. I can tell that's a knee, you know, so forth, so forth. The shadowing, the color scheme, everything was just pretty good about it. Like I said, there's about seven issues in here. So there's a lot of pages to flip through. You know, you do have your big moves, which I really, really enjoyed, you know, when they did the DDT or a power driver, you know, whatever it may be. That was really cool. So long story short, um, the story is about Cobra San and his daughter um, and their mother. So Cobra San is a wrestler, of course, which you see here. Uh, he's actually wrestling. I don't want to get I don't want to ruin it because that'll just ruin the story. So I'll just start off on telling you what I got from the story, right? Without giving you too many spoilers here. So you start off with a big wrestling match, right? You have the female world heavyweight champion. Now that was pretty cool to me because I haven't read a lot of wrestling graphic novels, but just to see that they had a women champion amongst men like intergender, I thought that was like really, really cool. Anyways, you see the match about to happen and she's hanging out with her daughter and her husband, right? So all you know is that she's telling the daughter to go to the crowd. The husband is kind of like, I got to slide up out of here. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be here. I got to go do some other stuff. Uh, Take care, honey. Take care. Right. So the match begins and still Rose is the mother's name and her name is Lua or Yua. Why you a so I'm thinking it was kind of like a play on words a little bit, you know, where they're like, yeah, you're still Rose type deal, you know, and then, of course, they had their daughter. And the daughter's in the crowd watching the match. So, you know, the mother is facing a man in the ring and she's doing well. She's about to go for a win. However, um, he goes for his finishing move, right? Not a, not his finishing move, I should say, but he goes for a high risk maneuver and it doesn't go so well. So it kind of reminds me of like a little bit of like Owen Hart in a way, you know, uh, more so like Owen Hart to Stone Cold with the power driver. A situation like that kind of went bad. Or you can say with uh, D'Lo Brown and uh, I forgot what his name was, the other wrestler's name. Uh, Was it the Ma? Not the Ma's. uh, Draws. There you go with that whole paralyzed incident. But anyways, long story short, um, the mother's the good guy. She they go for a move. It doesn't go well for her. So 10 years later, you pick up and the daughter's name is Lona Still Rose. So now Lona is picking up where her mother left off, where she wants to be a world champion. Now, everybody can see that she has the potential to be the next world champion. The problem is she just doesn't have the training or the skill to put on display yet. So, of course, that's where 
you know, she's reaching out to her uncle, the trainer, and her uncle is training her. However, her father is like, nah, I don't want her following the same, you know, route that her mother went down. I want to protect her. She's okay being in the minor leagues right now. But her uncle is like, yo, she is getting the crap beat out of her. I trained her mother well, and I can tell you she has more talent than her mother if you let me go ahead and train her. So they go back and forth with that. So, of course, Lona, she loses her match. So Lona's walking the street, and this guy comes out of nowhere, right? He's like a magician, and he grabs her, and it shocks her, and he's like, hey, I got to show you something. So he takes her to a whole nother world, right? And in this other world, he introduces, hey, my name is Necron. I have the ability to bring anybody back to life, and I'm having a wrestling tournament. The reason why I'm having a wrestling tournament is because the powers that be, every other god in every other universe or um, yeah, in every other universe has taken my power away and sent me here. They exiled me here, so I'm not as strong as I used to be. Nobody fears me as they used to. And since I can't do anything, I've been watching TV in all the galaxies. And this thing called a wrestling caught my attention. And I was like, yo, okay, I'm following along now. And you can just see like the enthusiasm of him. Like he has like this entertainer. Like you can tell he's an announcer. You know, he just wants to like put it on broadcast. He's hyperactive. He has a lot of energy. He likes to talk. He has smooth words. And you're like, okay, I'm, I'm feeding in the Necron. A really cool guy, right? But of course, as we know, there has to be a catch somewhere. So what is the catch? And he really doesn't tell her the catch, right? He just tells her, hey, I'm having a tag team tournament. Find a partner. Um, if you win, I'll bring your mother back to life. Pretty much is what he tells her. So she goes, okay, bet. Now, this is where it starts taking t- twists and turns, right? So she really couldn't find a partner. So now keep in mind, her father doesn't want her to do this, but her father totally understands where she's coming from in this situation. So he's like, I'm gonna let you do what you do. Now that's the part, right? You gotta, you gotta keep that in mind. The father is like, okay, I'm gonna let you go ahead and go through with this, right? So she's pretty much telling Necron, I don't have a partner. I don't know who I can pair with. He says, I know who. And it's Cobra Sun. So Cobra Sun is the one that was in the match with her mother and that the accident happened with. So he kind of plays it. Hey, look, I haven't done this in a while. You see my matches. I disappeared. I'm losing. I'm taking L's. I'm in squash matches. matches. I'm no good to you, but we're going to try and do this together. And I thought that's what made it cool because now... You got tag teams from all over the galaxies and all over the universes entering the tournament. And this is what made it so dope to me why I really, really enjoyed the comic is that in other universes and galaxies, these matches are real, right? On Earth, though, with Cobra Sun and Lona, these matches are choreographed. It is the WWE that we know. So they're in for like a beating pretty much if you want to go ahead and say that and a lot of people say that this is the dragon ball z of wrestling yeah you can kind of say that in a way but i really didn't see it that way i just saw it as hard-hitting action you know that's how i liked it but long story short um they enter the world and they have all these tag teams uh from all these galaxies and universes so keep in mind it's real to them and now they're just not humans that are in this i mean there are apes that was the first tag team i believe they went against or the second tag team they went against I mean, and they got everything from, you know, how the tournament tree is set up to their special moves, to their finishing moves. I mean, everything to like kicking out at the last second to the hot tag. I mean, this comic book had everything a wrestling fan needs. Like when I tell you everything that a wrestling fan needs, I mean everything. Like I enjoyed this more than I actually enjoyed watching WrestleMania this year. And I kid you not. Just the way with how the matches are set up. So now, of course, these are traditional matches. However, as they get deep into the tournament, they start asking for different matches, right? So now, keep that in mind. Everybody is in this tournament to bring back a loved one. So everyone is going to give everyone's going to give their 110 percent to win these matches and everyone's going to do whatever the next one isn't going to do and do whatever it takes in order to bring that family member back and that's what i absolutely loved about this comic man it was just that and just seeing some of the moves and some of the actions the ddts the moonsaults the inspiration of other matches that came into these matches i just absolutely loved it you know you got apes and singlets in here and i thought that was just really really cool man But yeah, so long story short, it is a tournament about getting your loved one back or not just a loved one, but bringing back anyone from the dead and everyone goes through it and it gets to a point to where 
Cobra Sun and Lona kind of gets, they get offended. They're like, yo, they don't think we real enough. Let's get real then. Let's have one of the most dangerous matches you can think of happen. And they go through with it, y'all. Like, it is just so cool. And then it gets to the point to, like I said, I mean, you can't have wrestling without controversy. There's good controversy in here, too, that happens. And you're just like, yo, what are they doing to me, man? So long story short, you know, you're going to have some heartbreak, right? You have some heartbreak, but guess what? There's always a loophole in wrestling, right? You're always going to get your rematch somehow, or somehow you're going to get involved in that match to where you can reclaim your title or get back to your position. And that's just it. They go against God. So they're kind of lied to a little bit, right? So Necron does have the ability to bring back people from the dead. But like I said, he's not as powerful as he used to be. So he goes and recruit the help of someone else. And I thought that was just dope. So they end up against God. And how do you beat God in a wrestling match, man? How do you beat God in a wrestling match? Like, y'all, if you haven't read this graphic novel yet, go get it. If you don't trust me, go pick up just a issue and check it out. Like I said, they call it the Dragon Ball Z of comics. And I really, really enjoyed it, y'all. So with that being said, man, down in the comments, let me know what you thought about this comic or this graphic novel. Would you recommend this to anyone? Is there anything similar I can read and get the same vibes from? What was your take on this graphic novel? Also, hit that subscribe button. Your vibe attracts your tribe and that's what brought you here today. So make sure you hit that and become family. Also, make sure you hit that like button. You gotta let YouTube algorithm know you like this kind of content and from me so they can share more of it. Also, hit that share button. Share this video to any and all social media platforms, especially and specifically to anyone you think this comic book would be useful for, to or for. And also, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I hate for y'all to miss the content that we'll be pumping out because, like I said, you hit that like button, hit that notification bell, boom, you already tapped in, baby. We got nothing else to go from from there. But with that being said, man, I just want to say thank you for joining me today. Peace. Love and blessings.